Hi, Christine here from Santa Cruz Dahlias, and today I'm going to show you how I plant dahlias in pots. So to start out with, you want to get as large a pot as you possibly can. Um, this one is about eight gallons, but I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than three gallons. Um, you want to put in a really high quality potting soil. Uh, this has got a lot of peat in it. It's a great potting soil. And then you want to place a stake. And the reason you want to place a stake now is you don't want to damage the tuber uh, later when you need to put a stake in. So right away put a stake in is what I recommend. So I, we're going to start today with what most people's tubers look like. Um, when I plant, um, I like to see that I have a very viable tuber, which means it's starting to push an eye here. And um, the, the tuber is nice and firm. Um, so I would, and, and uh, probably no roots happening or very few little roots like this. If it has little roots, just keep those on. Um, I will put my, my tag here so that I know uh, this, the, what it is. And um, then I would dig down about four inches and lay the tuber on its side like that. Um, and I put the sprouted end closest to the stake. And the reason is uh, for that is that, that this will, the, it'll sprout right here and then I can secure it if I need to later with twine. And you will want to support your dahlias once they grow with twine. Um, because uh, they are fragile if it's windy. Um, you do it in the ground or in the pot, so make sure you put that in now. And then once it's like that, you can just cover it, cover it over and um, just like this, just place the soil over it and give it a little push down. Now this one, when it looks like that without a root system or any green showing, you don't wanna water this. You wanna just leave, this is a, this is a moist, um, potting soil, so I would just leave that. If it starts to dry out, I'd give it a tiny bit of water, maybe maybe like a cup of water or something like that, but mostly I'm just gonna wait for that sprout to um, come up. So once it shows green like that, um, I'm gonna show you this tuber here that I started a little bit earlier. Once it's showing green, it's starting to push a root system. And once there's a root system, that's when you need to start watering because then the plant can take up water through the roots. When it's just a tuber, I'm gonna dig this one up and show you. When it's just a tuber like this, giving it water doesn't help it. It's going to sprout from just the energy in the tuber itself. So, um, so this is what you would normally do, but um, I wanna show you also here that I've pre-sprouted some of my dahlia tubers. I like to do the pre-sprout if I'm gonna plant them um, in the ground or uh, in the pots in particular, because you can see here, not all of these have sprouted. So this one here is not sprouting. It doesn't show any eyes on it, where these ones I know are very viable. And this one's very viable. This one's very viable. It's got a nice green sprout and a nice root system. So if I was gonna plant this one, I would, I would again dig down about four inches uh, and place it on its side like that with the sprout closest to the stake and just cover it up and, and plant it to the first set of leaves there. Um, and then this one, because it has a root system and the green, I can start watering this right away. Um, so I hope all that helps. Enjoy.